Hi there. Um, this question is about calculating the orbital period of the Earth or the mass of the Sun. Now, this particular type of question does come up um, quite often in exams, so I thought I might um, just go through that. So, I suppose the first thing that we need to be aware of is that the, the you know the, the the Earth is orbiting the Sun in an almost circular path and has a radius. That radius is from the centre here to the centre of the Earth, so we'll just call that R there. So that from that centre there to that centre, that's the radius there. And we know that it's around about 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres. Um, we also know the mass of the Sun is 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms, and this universal gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 uh, newton meter squared per kilogram squared. So I suppose the first thing to um, get down is that we know that the centripetal force um, you know on the earth is mv squared over r. Um, we also know that the the force on both the sun and the earth is to do with the gravity the universal gravitational constant the mass of the sun the mass of the Earth, we'll call that big M for the Sun and little m for the Earth, divided by the radius between them, the distance between them, um, squared. So therefore, we can actually these two these two equations equal one another. So let's do that. M v squared equals g m little m over r squared. And we'll simplify that down. These, as you can see, the little m is on this side and the little m on that side, so they can be cancelled out. There's also the radius on this side and the radius there, so we'll just make that there and cancel that off. So just to simplify that. And we're left with v squared g big M over r. And we're wanting, obviously, the the, the the subject that we're wanting is to find the period t, the orbital period. And we know that velocity is distance divided by time from earlier work, and the distance to go right round once is 2 pi r. That's the circumference distance to go round in the orbit divided by the period t, because the time taken to do that is classed as the big T, the period. So if we pop that into the formula here, 2 pi r over t, and we put the brackets right round as a squared, that will equal the gm over the r. Now let's just expand that out. 4 pi squared r squared t squared equals gm over r. Um, now, now, just to come up here just to simplify that because we're wanting uh, the period on its own so we might just swap that round we'll just we'll just basically flip that 4 pi squared r squared uh, equals r over gm uh, and more simplification if we bring that across to here, 4 pi squared r cubed this time, because we're bringing the whole of that, that those uh, variables there over to this side, and divided by gm. And then t will be equal to the square root of 4 pi squared r cubed over gm. So um, let's pop those numbers in and let's see. So 4 pi squared times 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters and we have to cube all of that. So this is where it's so easy to make a mistake and you know it's very easy to leave off the square off the pi. That sometimes that happens in these types of equations and also people forget that this is cubed. This radius is cubed now divided by the universal constant 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times the mass of the sun and we're given this two times quite approximate 
2 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. And I think that all works out to be about 8, 7, 90 hours. And that's around about 366 days. So that's about right. So there we go. So that's, that's calculating the orbital period of the Earth, which is one year, basically. In some questions, the opposite is done. You're given, you're, you're, sometimes it's assumed you know the number of days or you know, the number of hours that the, the period of the Earth is, and they ask you to calculate the mass of the Sun. And so this, in this case, we will just rearrange the equation to be 4 pi squared r cubed divided by t squared divided by g. Okay, so this is the equation that you would use. All I'm doing is just rearranging this equation here. So I'm just coming up with that. So just making that, making the, the mass of the sun, this here, the subject. And um, just remember that the period now is going to be 366 or 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. So don't forget to remember to do that. It's not just 366 days. You have to put that all into seconds and then you should, you should, it should equal around about back around the 2 times 10 to the 10 to the 30 kilograms which is the mass of the sun. Hope that helps.